well, I'd like to welcome back a, a friend of ours who's been on our show many times over the years, and that is Gary Culp. And Gary, you are a Medicare representative with Aetna. Now, every year there are changes. 2018 is a few weeks away, and we also want to mention that your ability to change your plans or look at these plans, well, you only got a couple weeks, right? That's right. It's actually right around the corner, so I know that everyone thinks about <coughs> this each year, which is you know, kind of crazy because you have to consider what your health plan options are for the following year, but it is nice to actually know that there are things that you can consider and that there are options that people in the community can actually make changes each year as they want to. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about Aetna Medicare. Sure. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people know Aetna and have maybe been on Aetna, but what they may not know is that Aetna's been around for over 160 years. Wow. So, so when you wow. think about experience, there's definitely Gee. experience in healthcare, health insurance, as well as other things. Um, we actually were the first company to ever pay a Medicare claim. So going back into seriously. the 60s, seriously. <clears throat> so going wow. back into the 60s and when Medicare was first introduced, we were actually the first company to actually process a claim for Medicare. So we've been doing Medicare programs since the inception of the Medicare um, program, which is a wow. long time. Um, also, you know, we're nationwide. We have over a million Medicare members actually as part of our plan today. And then you know, the other thing is, is that in Orange County, we offer a couple of different options. We offer standalone prescription drug plans. Mm -hmm. We offer Medicare Advantage HMOs. Okay. And we also offer Medicare Advantage PPO. All right. Well, this is where it's confusing for it a lot is. of people. Yeah. It's confusing for me. I, we had to just go through our plans uh, this past uh, couple weeks. So why don't you tell the people the difference between an HMO and a PPO and perhaps why somebody would choose one over the other? Sure. So first, an HMO, or also known as a health maintenance organization, okay. is set up in a way where the actual <clears throat> member will select typically a primary care physician or okay. also known as a PCP. And then that primary care physician or PCP will help in the coordination of care and access to other specialty care and <coughs> services for that member. A, a preferred yeah. provider organization or known as a PPO mm -hmm. actually gives a little bit um, broader access. In fact, for, net, um, for Aetna, we have a national network for our PPO. Okay. So members that maybe are looking for more portability to their health care, mm -hmm. maybe they have two homes, one right here in Laguna Woods, maybe another home that's in Florida, okay, then they could actually have, point. right, they could have the portability <clears throat> of taking their benefits with them um, as they're using access to networks that Aetna offers on a national basis. Okay, so really the PPO uh, gives you the flexibility, am I it right? It does, it does. Okay. And the, so the, I mean, the, there's, a, there's actually a reason to choose either one. So there isn't a one size fits all. What's yeah. nice about you know, our programs is that we're not saying that there's one thing for everyone. What we're saying is, let us talk to you and see what's best for you. So for example, up on the screen right now okay. is our, our PPO plan. And this is the one that has the access to the national network. It's at $107 monthly premium. <coughs> to see a PCP is a $10 in network. Okay. Specialists are $40 in network. It's all inclusive for the medical and pharmacy, so the prescriptions are included okay. in the plan. <clears throat> and then there is an annual limit in terms of the medical cost. So when you're thinking about how do I cap my exposure to expense in medical, this plan provides a cap. Okay. So really, really great plan. It's not a fit for everyone, but it is a fit for many that are looking for access and portability of their benefits. Okay. And can I ask you a quick question sure. on this? Prescription drug coverage, yes, but there is a there's a copay. There is. So okay, we want to make sure people absolutely. understand that that great clarification. monthly so, premium doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, really great clarification. And just for everyone, <clears throat> this is just a, a quick view of some right. of the key elements of the plan. Yes. Really, what's needed is for you to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with us so that we can look at what your needs are, because this may right. not be the right plan for you, or it might be. Um, right, we can, especially we can when it comes to your medicines. That's right, yeah. so we can actually look up your drugs to tell you what tier it's gonna fall on for the copay, if it's covered or not, how much it would be at a retail pharmacy versus a mail order. Right, and we'll emphasize again that maybe you've been with Aetna for years, but every year that formulary has the potential to change. 
It's a great point. <coughs> so there's the consideration, I would actually take a step back and say, what are the things that we need to consider yeah, when looking exactly. at healthcare? So one is, what are your personal needs? So if you're looking at doctors within the community here, mm -hmm. just look at what providers are part of the network of the plan that you're looking at right here. The other is what you brought up around prescriptions because it is one of the higher cost or expensive yeah. items that we're trying to cover. Look at what is covered on what's known as a formulary, mm -hmm. which is basically a list of drugs that are covered. What tier of the benefit it's covered on because most of the plans will offer oh, different okay. tiers because there'll be different co-pays depending on the okay. tier. And then for some, you know, they're on regular scheduled medication that they haven't changed for a long time, their doctor's very happy with it, they're happy with it, they may want to consider the mail order. It gets delivered right to their home. Oh, that's it's a good usually idea. more cost effective. Um, it's usually a 90 day supply, so it gives like the flexibility of them kind of carrying that on. But we do offer the retail pharmacies as well. So if you prefer going into the, the drugstore and getting your drugs okay. that way, then that's an option as well. Okay, so the tiers have to do with the, with the prescriptions. They do, so it's the cost of the <clears> drugs. <throat> okay what tier they're on. Correct. Well. Okay. But the monthly premium stays the same? Monthly premium stays the same. Okay. So that's constant every month. All right. Now we're going to look at the HMO options. Sure. Am I right? Yeah, okay. We are. We got a slide up. We're we do. Bring, yeah. So here actually in Orange County we offer two different HMO options and what I'll point out as being the main difference is we were talking about how the PPO has the national network in place. Right. For the HMO you would select a provider right here in Orange County and then that okay. provider would help kind of coordinate all your care. Okay. Um, so a little <clears> bit <throat> different than how the PPO works but we offer two different HMOs and they offer, oh, okay. they offer two different networks. So the first step in this one is okay. what provider do you want and then that'll determine what you know HMO okay. might be the right fit. Both of them happen to be a zero monthly premium so the monthly premium is covered in terms of the way that we're, we built this plan the PCP um, copay is also zero, and the specialty copay is zero. Now, this is for the PCP and specialists that would be in your network. Right. So right. it doesn't give like the access to any PCP <clears throat> or specialist, but those that are in the network would be a zero copay. Prescription drug coverage is on both of these plans, and both of these plans also have an annual limit to the medical expense. Okay. And similar to our conversation around the PPO, as people are looking at the HMO, they also would want to consider where are my drugs on the formulary, right. you know, what providers are in and, in and out of network so that they know which ones are covered. Okay, two questions. Sure. Because I'm looking at the two plans and they're identical in, in cost. Yes. How does one determine, is it the, the prime plan or the select plan? I know you don't have well, time to go sure. um, into it. So there's a, couple, <clears throat> there's a couple things that determine which one is right for you. Okay. The first one is around the provider because ah. the, the prime plan is a more limited network um, in terms of what providers okay. are covered. The, the select plan actually has a broader network. So it depends on which doctors you're looking at because okay. some may not be in okay. the select and versus the prime. Okay, one other quick question yes. about that. Uh, because you talked about one thing with a PPO, maybe you own a home in Florida. Right. With the HMO plan, what if someone is visiting Florida and they have a medical need that comes Well, it's a great question. So <clears throat> on, I mean, Aetna is national, but... That's right. Yeah. I, actually, on all three of our Medicare Advantage plans, <clears throat> there's coverage for urgent and okay. emergent care. Okay. So there isn't a limitation to say that you have to be in your given uh, geography or network when it's an emergency or an urgently needed care situation. Okay. All right. Now... Um, you have the uh, different plans with the range of options. Can you tell us the doctors, the hospitals sure. within the Aetna network in this area? Absolutely. So on the screen right now is actually a couple of mm -hmm. highlights. Um, keep in mind that we have a lot more providers than yes, this. Yes, they do. But given yes, that do. we're in, in, here in Laguna Woods, we thought a couple that would be of importance mm -hmm. for, this, for this particular population would be Monarch Healthcare, because Monarch's very popular in this area. So they are contracted with Aetna. So you can have access to okay. Monarch. Um, Saddleback Memorial Medical Center, so that's a preferred hospital for okay. many people that are residents within this community. And it's also contracted with Aetna. And then the third is Mission Hospital um, in South County. Okay. So uh, Mission Hospital is also contracted. But please know that this is just a quick, short list of the very vast network that Aetna actually offers. Okay. And uh, when you sit down with them, when a rep sits down and goes through all this, they, they are given these options. If, 
Absolutely. I'm, I'm sure what they fit best. And um, obviously, we, I, know, I know, actually, I know all those very well, but uh, sure. Monarch is the, the health care provider, am I right? So Monarch is actually <clears throat> the medical group that Because I know this is a big with, question for it people. Is a they big get question. a little confused. Sure. So it's, a, it's actually the piece where when you're thinking about the HMOs in particular, um, you know, knowing which medical group and primary okay. care doctor you would like to select is important. So Monarch is one of the medical groups that we contract with that would help in terms of that, you know, complete care okay. of the primary care physician, the specialty care doctor, other types of ancillary services that are part of that medical group. So they're one of the medical groups that we're contracted with and we're, you know, proud to actually have them on the screen. They're a great partner. Okay. What other uh, features and benefits can the people expect with Aetna Medicare? Well, um, there's actually other really great things to know. Um, you know, one is is that, uh, and they're also on the screen, is that we offer silver sneakers, which is a fitness oh, yes. program, which I know <clears throat> many people in this community sure, are already that. accessing yeah. today are familiar with. So, you know, we're, we're a great partner of ours, and also <clears throat> the whole intent here is just like the Laguna Woods community of where people want to stay active, yeah. and there's all sorts of things to do between golf and bowling and whatever other things in the community. Um, Silver Sneakers actually provides mm -hmm. several different fitness ways to stay okay. healthy and well. Um, the other is around prescription drug co coverage, which we've talked about right. already on our plans. It's actually incorporated as part mm -hmm. of the plan design for all three plans. The PPO and both of the HMOs have prescription drug included in them and important. Um, health and wellness programs. So, you know, part of our whole vision and the way that we look at our members is how do we make it so that their lives continue to be healthy and well. So it's providing programs to help make sure right. that people are always, you know, feeling great about you know, what they're doing and, and access to these wellness mm -hmm. programs as well. The last is around, and this isn't an extensive <laughs> list again, it's a um, quick, you know, list of items that we offer. The last is resources for living program, which actually is very um, nice for not only our members, but also caregivers for our, our members because it provides oh, okay. access to services like home care so to mm -hmm. find out what resources are available for home care when needed um, pit, uh, pet sitters um, oh, even okay. health even home maintenance so kind of a um, referral program that can get you into um, services that might be needed as you kind of go along that are even somewhat outside of even some of the health services that are needed okay so that's that's really nice now with the advantage plans you also get some of this as well right that's this right is all so they're embedded included. in the plans that's right okay so that's really nice and I love the, uh, the resources and the wellness programs. You know, years ago, whether it was Aetna or, or anyone else, you never heard that term, wellness. Right. And I think it's a great term that everyone uh, kind of taps into now because the whole point is all the different things to keep you well, which is, of course, in, in many cases, preventative checkups for right. different things, right? That's right. Yeah. That's absolutely right. And very important. I mean, <clears throat> all of us want to stay healthy. and you know, active, and so these are programs that help you do that. Yeah, and they contact you. It's time for this. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Oh, so. yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, they do. you, you got to get in there now for this checkup here. Uh, but it's good. I mean, it's kind of a little, a little reminder, and uh, it's, it's really good. Uh, here's the number on the screen, and um, this way they can get a license rep, of course. And tell me about uh, Hacienda on the Lakes and Florence Sylvester. You have some seminars coming up, right? We do. So first of all, for people that are you know, watching today, this is the phone number that you want to write right. down because it will get you access to Let Aetna. me say it if people sure. uh, are visually impaired, but it's 1-800-348-4477. That's 1-800-348-4477. If you were hearing impaired, you would then hit 711. Is that right? Is that That's right. That okay. That's right. All right. So thank you for doing that. Yeah. Um, so really, this is the number that can get people connected with someone on the phone so we can answer questions mm -hmm. on the phone. We can also schedule to meet with people okay. wherever they'd like to meet. So if it's that they'd like to meet in their home or they'd like to meet at the local Starbucks or at the community center, whichever, you know, whatever it is that they're looking that would be most comfortable for them, we can actually have an agent meet with them and then help them in terms of assessing you know, what would be the right option for them. Now these two um, uh, locations listed on the screen today also are some meetings that are coming up. Right. So these are educational sales meetings which provide 
you know, additional content about our plans, um, you know, what you need to look at. There will also be a licensed agent present that can actually help someone mm -hmm. in terms of assessing what plan is right for them. And if it is the right fit, they can actually help them enroll. Um, for Mission Viejo, it's Hacienda on the Lakes, and there's a couple of dates. There's November 21st, mm -hmm. and it's at 10 a.m. There's also November 28th, which is at 10 a.m. Then in Laguna Hills, there's Florence Silverstone Memorial Senior Center. And on November 30th, there's a 10 a.m. meeting. And on December 7th, there's a 10 a.m. meeting. Okay, and let's remind folks, December 7th is the date. It's an That's, important date. Yeah. So for those that are on Medicare and are looking to possibly change for this upcoming year, December 7th is the cutoff unless yes. they're eligible for some special election period. That's right. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Uh, you know, the, the old saying, do it sooner than later, where well, we're already getting to the later part. So uh, you need to really check this out. I'm going to give that number once again for Aetna, 1-800-348-4477. You can call that number and get a, a representative on the phone and speak with them. And as Gary said, they can come out to your home and uh, get you going on this. But it's important that you really do this now. Am I right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Now's All the right. time to do it. You have until December 7th if yeah. you're looking to change. All right. Gary, good to see you. Great to see you, thank too. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, we'll see. It's going to be a year. We'll see you again. Sooner. I don't know. It'll sooner. be sooner. Yes. All right. Gary will be on sooner. <laughs> Great. We'll be back. <laughs>